here the person has to have certain qualities which already we have discussed in the previous verse that where santo danto uparama kshanti were discussed so unless the person develops all these qualities definitely that person will not be able to do niti dhyasanam properly and of course there is no chance of samadhi that is contextual so why he says samahita samadhanam iti so the person must have complete settlement in one's own self because the problem is with all of us we are trying to settle anything and everything neglecting ourselves any settlement you look at i am settled in my life so what is your settlement especially every man and woman after marriage they will say i am swami ji i am settled in my life so whether you are settled or unsettled that is time only say not i have to say okay so each one thing that settling myself settling down they say i settle down there is another word i settle down why can we can settle up also okay if there is something english settling up okay how about that means when ever i am able to negotiate take care achieve or fulfill the desires that had created vacuum emptiness voidness in me that is what i call as settlement and each one of us start creating void emptiness knowingly or unknowingly and start working to take care to fulfill to negotiate that void or emptiness for example if job is not a problem issue for me i am not bringing marriage okay marriage is every time issue so i that's why i'm changing from job, marriage to job okay so if job is not an issue for me and if i get a job will i say that i have now i am okay i am settled down whereas if i am unemployed unemployable you understand there are people they are unemployed and unemployable and i come under that category okay don't worry <laughs> feel proud okay <laughs> so nobody gives me employment in fact i once long back in uh, italy there is a, there was a, still i think the farmer is there or the past away so still is there okay so generally i used to go there once i went along uh, with uh, stefania because i go there do not to eat uh, this green peas that is my target nothing else <laughs> so standing there i keep munching so as usual and he he was very he is very nice fellow so i asked him eh, so then stefania translated can you give me job i said please i can be here i can do the job finally he said this person is unemployable why if i give job tomorrow i will not be here so better i should not give him job <laughs> unemployed unemployable so that simple man he could understand uh, understand me i think very well than any one of <laughs> you is which and our joke apart so if i am unemployed and unemployable now somehow if i manage to get a job 
that becomes a real achievement in my life. And that I call as settlement. Can you see this part? So that I am not able to get a job that creates so much void or emptiness in me, of course insecurity in me. Now while sleeping, while walking, while talking, moving anywhere and everywhere, only back of the mind that keeps running. Now I somehow want to take care of it. And somehow if it is, I don't take care to be very honest, somehow if it is taken care, I take the credit and I say I am settled down. And when again it is disturbed some way or another, again I am back to the square. So that means whole life we are trying to settle ourselves with others. Have you not observed? I tried to settle myself as a kid with my parents. Later on, I started trying to settle myself with my boyfriend or girlfriend. Later on, as you know, whole life started settling, settling and settling. Ignoring myself. And remember, settling down or settlement, doing settlement with anybody is nothing but pacifying, suppressing or buttering one's own desire. If I am capable of pacifying, suppressing or you can say taking care, sometimes buttering too, my own desire, that time I say I am settled down. So here is being highlighted sama, Samadhana Sraddha Samadhanam that last one comes Samadhanam the sixfold qualification. So unless there is Samadhanam in one's own self definitely that person cannot really enjoy anything in life. Because if there is Samadhana which is not there, always my mind wanders, my mind is extrovert. In fact, my mind always looks for satisfaction or contentment in the external world. So that's why he says beautifully, Pramilapya Bahyam Sutradi Cheta So Aham Chidatmanite So that means what? Once this thing happens, the samadhita, samadhanam comes. So definitely that person will be able to withdraw. Sutra, the all sense organs begins with the ear. And of course eyes, mainly ear, then eyes. Because these two are really powerful. Then third one is nose. So these three are really, you know that's why, you know, uh, these three are very important. Then comes, uh, later on comes, you know, your, uh, what, this thing, taste of course inside and the skin, touch. So this, when it says this carefully, then of course this, then what happens? Now, because of that region, Swam Aham Chidatmani Te Eva Muktaha Iti so when the person, you go, and of course, is withdrawn, is not active, along with all the sense organs. And when it is not active, where it is, it has to be where? Chidat money itself. So when it has identity, or it has seen its own shelter, this is called settlement. Shelter in one's own self, that is me called Chidatma. Along with all sense organs, 
only that person te eva they alone these people are only called mukta so they are free people they are liberated people bhavavanda pas bhavapasa bandhihi so where from they move uh, they are uh, free this bhav pasa bandha pasa means a loose like we say we have very beautiful you say you know like how they say fishing people they do it okay they have this no what called bait na with this thing especially we remember from this tom and jerry it's very beautiful yeah how this did tom and jerry goes and does everything so that is what we remember okay tom and poor fellow poor uh, what is called uh, jerry also becomes bait so that's the very pathetic situation okay and you know how he handles manages and handles so how through the bait we catch the fish now here we have a beautiful expression of passion the death has always a loose a passion we say yama passion anybody can escape from anybody but definitely nobody can escape from yama passion this is very nicely portrayed yama okay that's why in fact sometimes says look i escaped from yama passion so whenever you are very very difficult situation somehow i escaped so that is what is being highlighted here the passion is called bandha and what sort of passion passion means a loose a trap and interestingly when you say see tra- trap i am using the word because when you enter you feel nothing but it is a one way traffic <laughs> once you enter absolutely no problem but the moment you come out god knows how they put it gets tightened and the more you struggle to come out more you feel suffocated so that is exactly called loose very nice way of making news and what is that beautiful says that is called bhava bhava pasha so what is bhava sense of becoming so in the sense of becoming and of course in the form of what janma and mrutyu starting a relationship and continuing and ending all these things called sense of becoming so the sense of becoming becomes bondage and only that person will be free from this bondage or will no more have interest in sense of becoming because already the person is in being so there is a difference between me being and becoming by default a common person wants to become whereas a seeker tries to be so more you try to be being yourself how is it possible simple thing that's why long before i try to be with myself let me accept whatever i have my weaknesses my strength my present scenario my past my stupidity of course my best thing that whatever i have no more exaggeration no more looking down then only the sense of being will happen means the person who does not fight with one's own self remember this part at no time i should fight with myself just observe this point in life do we fight with ourselves or not that too unknowingly in fact morning till evening only fighting with one's own self and because we fight with ourselves other becomes an instrument my neighbor now is neighbor is no more instrument 
because never is far away. Because I never see my neighbor, even if who is just, you know, opposite of the world. <laughs> but my spouse, my parents, my children become they become instrument of my fighting. So that is what he is saying. Look, being and because I am with myself, that's why I don't have sense of becoming. And that's why I become free. No onnetu, very nicely. No onnetu, not other people. And especially to, even if whereas, paroksha katha vidhainaha. So paroksha katha vidhainaha means those who are capable of giving discourses. Katha means, you know, all sort of discourses. In fact, they only entertain. So they are very good in giving discourses. They are very good to explain many things, which is good, nothing wrong in it. But remember, they are not going to be liberated. Because for them, we call back chaturyam is important. So back chaturyam means how eloquently, how you can mesmerize yourself. In fact, I remember, there are some people, one person I remember, first time, somebody said, oh, because long back there was a trend, especially in uh, 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 Chennai. Uh, Chennai has got a you know, different thing to cater. So especially there was a lady, good looking, and uh, studied very well. I, I am not supposed to tell the qualification which doesn't look nice. Then you all will understand who is the lady. And happens to be from a family where Katha is a part of their life. In fact, her father-in-law is having many things. Let me not get into in details. And this lady gave off everything, started doing Katha. And we count, I am not telling you jokes. And the worst thing is, she will put nine add sari, which this generation now do not know how to put. So that was a big market. Who? Oh, she has studied, she gave off everything. Now she is, look how devoted is. I am not telling good jokes. In fact, some of the crazy my associated also try to drive her and take him to the different places. In fact, I don't want to say now because this Jyoti is now trying to call it Ajit Jyoti. I told that time Jyoti, hey, you should start, I will support you. <laughs> However, I am not telling you jokes. And finally, I am told, the one, and she became very famous, quite famous. Now also she is quite famous. Now I am told, she is divorced. <laughs> this is not one case, I will give you another case. Another one is there, called disciple or daughter. Very famous. So announces, I am bringing only ladies, okay? Gents, they are, you know, I, there is no point of talking, okay? Because every gents is stupid, okay? But ladies, they know they don't do it because there is some sincerity. That's why I am bringing ladies example here, woman example. <laughs> Main example, there is no point, okay? <laughs> it's, you know, below uh, standard, wasting our time. Generally, ladies are sincere. So this uh, disciple, no, no, uh, disciple, no, daughter disciple, okay. And what daughter disciple? Same thing. And she has got good looking. Now she's old now. Good looking and good English. Started marketing. And I am not telling you jokes. You go to especially Indian how things. There is one present one girl is there. She is a big hit in North India because she sings very well, looks very good. Now 
because she has got a huge fat. Now, in fact, somebody interviewed, no, I want to get married, I am not going to be like this. Now, for her, it's very tough because now she's changing herself a little bit differently so that she will be ready for marriage. <laughs> in short, let me not get into, I am not going to point out anybody after pointing out, okay? This is my job. <laughs> Here the point is very carefully. Paroksya katha vidhai naha. Not the one who only communicates or tries to entertain or gives discourses, preaches or one who explains a sastra very well but does not see for one's own self. That is the point. Because I can explain sastra very well. But if I don't see the Shastra, it's exactly like I create mirror or I sell mirror, that is better word. I sell mirror but never see my image. And always I have having complex with me. Even though I am looking beautiful or handsome, but I have never seen mirror, but holding mirror and selling the mirror continuously. What a painful thing to go through in life. So I consider these people are exactly like selling mirrors without seeing their own face. See, at least when you are selling mirror, you sell nothing wrong in it. Before selling, at least taste every mirror from you. See your face, then enjoy. Wow, nice. This is a good one. Yes, now you can see. This is a very good one. There will be satisfaction. There will be confidence. Can you see this point? Whereas, you have a mirror and the worst part is you don't have only mirror. You have concave, convex, all sort of mirrors. <laughs> and you keep selling what people, if they clap, they say, wow, this is a very good mirror. You feel very good. If they say it's not good, that time you are out. That's why these people will never be liberated. Next verse. Upadhiveda swayameva vidyate Chopadhipoya swayameva kevalaha Tasmat upadhe bilayaya vidwan Vaset sada kalpa samadhi nishthayam Says Vidwan sada vaset akalpa samadhi nishthaya So vidwan the person who is a learned person, a wise person, who knows the Shastra very well, Sada always, Vaset must avoid, may one avoid, where Akalpa Samadhi Nishthaya. So let there be commitment, Nishtha, with reference to Samadhi. And what sort of Samadhi? That Bikalparahita, without any distraction, means nirvikalpaka samadhi. So free from any sort of distraction. And why one should do? Says beautifully, to do that, there is a trick. So gives the logic. Upadi veda swayameva vidyate iti. If you look at, the more role you play, the more you are scattered. I remember in a teenage time, those days in especially villages, yearly they used to do this opera. Yatra, we say. 
it's a very nice thing to do because this is how they bring out their talent almost every village in fact and every four five village also there will be no competition in fact many people have come up very well and many people could not come up so the talent comes out very nicely so it depends upon strength of the village and all these things and they do the rehearsal because it, for one night drama that's called they call drama in orissa so for one night drama some for five hours maximum minimum you know one month two months every day they have to rehearse in the night and sometimes there will be multi talented people and but they do not know what to do and that person has to do two three roles this is what i have come to the point point okay they do not know what to do sometimes they will look at how many scenes are there in between because they have to change the makeup and everything okay i remember once one person was playing the king role because some two places king only are there and a beggar role it's a very pathetic situation okay the costume everything becomes different and what happened while do you know doing all these things because first i think few times the king was there so in between what happens is when he changed this costume so there are ear rings okay <laughs> they have forgotten to remove that <laughs> and with those ear rings this fellow came to become beggar And but he did well. But we started, you know, <laughs> shouting, "Hey, where did this ear, uh, this beggar got earring? What is happening to the beggar?" <laughs> so it was a very laughing thing for him, for us. And in fact, later on, it had a big issue. And again, he had to go back. And luckily, he was really good. He could manage it. I remember very well now. He could manage it. Imagine if he is not able to manage the show. if the script of the king comes as beggar script <laughs> if the beggar script goes to king script what will happen disaster in life so because there was no sufficient gap that is the most important point to communicate here okay to remove the costume there was no sufficient gap even though other person, people were there to help him still the hearing could remain there was a mixture of two roles physical even though he was conscious you could handle it now let us look at yours the role of a father this is very important role or role of a mother very important role now when you are a father or mother you are angry with your child suddenly your wife or husband comes what do you become you are no more a father or mother you became a wife or husband can you see then the anger that is with your child will it come to your husband or wife or not sometimes better not to have child okay <laughs> i'm not telling you jokes if you have child problem if you don't have child also problem in fact if you are born problem if you don't have problem i remember today somebody called me because of this reason i brought this example so i mean my son is like this 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 thing I said, hey, look, these many years I have never uh, heard anything about your wife. Not a single day, but something, little bit, something has happened about your son. You are so much affected. So I said, what can I do? I love my child, not my wife. <laughs> but only I can tell you, not anybody. <laughs> You should see. I have different samples. Okay, you cannot think of what are the samples I have with me. Okay, 
Only I have to reshuffle them. That's all. Nothing else. And a little bit to change. Same things, a little bit changing, and I can present. Don't know whole life or many lives. Okay. <laughs> Coming back. So, <clears throat> so between this father and husband, between mother and wife, do I have sufficient gap or time? If there is no time, I am not, not, not talking about time in the terms of quanti quantity. I am not quantifying the time. Because even if you have, you know, quantifying time, still if you observe mentally, if you are occupied while talking to wife, still you are father. While talking to you, uh, you know, husband, still you are mother. That happens, in fact, this is what happens to every lady, especially once they have got a child, you know, they hold on to the child, they feel proud, you know, now I can take care of myself, I can see my husband. <laughs> and if they cannot do it, let me go for a job so that I'll take care of my husband, okay? <laughs> Other way around, okay? <laughs> Not really take care. <laughs> and of course, men also equally stupid, okay? Not the don't think that men are great. They are also equally stupid. Well, they have to balance, okay? It's not only women I am talking it, okay? Please understand. Because unless the problem is there with the man, women also will not go crazy. Somewhere, you have also problem. How? Coming to the point. Let me not get into controversial area. So, message is very clear that if there is no sufficient time between the two roles, Definitely, the costume, the dialogue, anything and everything, that will be mixed. And that is what happens in our life or not. Just observe. So that's why very carefully it's being highlighted. Upadi vedat swayameva vidyateiti. When there are many roles, that to unsettled, unattended, not consciously played. And the worst thing we do is, all the roles we pick up. And moreover, whichever role fascinates, fascinates me, I pick up that role better way, stronger, longer time. And we never plan we never train ourselves for any role. Tell me a single role for that you have trained yourself. Tell me a single role. Just think of today. Have you trained yourself for a single role that you have played so far? Just you are playing by pointing fingers, you have to learn. But whether you learn or you keep burning your fingers, that you know better. So that's why he says, Upadi Vedat, this is what I introduced to the topic. It is better not to enter into the mud than enter into the mud and washing the feet. And when this is what happens, he says, Upadi apohe soyam eva kebalaha. So when all these upadis, all these conditionings are dissolved, When you see the limitations of these conditionings, different roles, whether I am body-mind, I am intellectual, I am man, I am woman, because that is more important, remember, I am man, I am woman. Ooh. Every male feels proud, Ooh, I am man. Every woman feels true, I am proud, I am woman. That's more dangerous. And of course, other roles. So he says beautifully, once these conditionings are dissolved, 
mentally when you start seeing the limitations of it soyam eva kevala you are completely withdrawn that's why you can see especially in a relationship i want to be a child but my parents do not reciprocate what will happen to me i become a rebellious child i want to be a wife but husband does not reciprocate i become a nagging woman same thing also i want to be a husband why he does not respect i become a demanding husband can you see this point very careful the nagging in a woman or demanding in a man comes because of all this there can be many other factors varied factors not necessary this only okay just example say i am giving one you can add your points you know better time to time so that's why what is being highlighted here is once a person understands this very carefully how the upadhi associating myself with a role and that to the role that is fascinating for me fascinating means what the role that does not challenge me my ego in short that is called fascinating now i would like to play that role continuously till i am tired of it till i am fed up of it and once i am tired there is another type of people once i am tired after some time again uh, basta basta enough 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 again kal samsara vairagya comes or no this is better what is prasava vairagya okay samsara vairagya is not interesting it's called prasava vairagya prasava vairagya means a lady who gives birth to those okay you know in india i used to have you know cricket teams all over the world not india all over the world okay so ladies will have cricket teams I means sorry family will have cricket teams so many children so after lady gives the birth so painful vasta no more again after some time another child <laughs> so that is what called i am fed up of suffocated i don't want at this moment then after that what happens again the same thing. so all these roles how it happens not that a person wants to get rid of the roles no is it fed up of a role is it tired of playing the role of a father mother son wife husband whatever how interestingly i have seen this point also very carefully whichever role is much closer to you whichever role is much dearer to you you get fed up up with that role faster <laughs> this is what happens in general there are exceptions let us not get into that's why he says what you need to do apohe upadhi iti one need to learn to see the limitations of this conditioning that i have then automatically once all this limitations is being seen now i am withdrawn to myself tasmat upadhe bilayaya vidwan so that's why what is should to do because of these reasons now this vidwan a wise person a learned person must learn to withdraw re- learn to resolve all these conditions and once you resolve what to do that's why vaset sada akalpa samadhi nishth enjoy samadhi means literally kurma vat iti so like a tortoise So if you look at a tortoise, whenever there is some issue, nicely we withdraw 
the leg, the head, all the five things, especially. Nicely, it is five, okay? So that is why we say that Kurmavat, like a tortoise. So also, five sense organs to be withdrawn. How tortoise brings five things inside? The head one, both at the front leg and hind leg, behind leg. Five. Moment feels some type of fear, something. Senses, not feel, senses fear with us. Whereas if it is very comfortable with you, in fact, will come out and start fighting with you. You understand? That is fights with you, you know, very nicely they play with you. In fact, some videos we see, they play the football. <laughs> what are the videos that are available nowadays, okay? Oh, already time, man. Eh? We'll see more of it in one day. Please close your eyes.